Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and here's another replay sent to me by my old mate Matchy HK. Don't forget to check out Matchy HK's own YouTube channel. Link in the video description. And in this game, unlike a lot of my replays, is not top tier. It's a tier 6. He's in the Hellcat. The tier 6 American tank destroyer with the turret. Now this replay is taken from patch 9.10. Without giving too much away, this is an absolutely awesome game by our old mate Matchy. He's on Overlord, Overlord map, and I think sometimes it's it's a little bit easy sometimes to make good replays in of tanks that are um, high tier because because they're often putting damage into lower tier opponents. But in this game, it's a tier eight battle, and He's in his Hellcat and he's going to be picking up some opportunistic damage. Obviously, he's not going to be leading the charge in a Hellcat in a tier 8 battle. Looking at the enemy side, there's an IS 3, a KV 5, a Jag Tiger 8.8, .8, the premium German tank destroyer, as well as a T 28 prototype. Every one of those has pretty handy armor and he's probably going to, it's going to be a little bit challenging in this, in the Hellcat, even though the Hellcat's got. An awesome gun for tier 6. All that armour at those tier 8 vehicles are going to be quite challenging to penetrate. Now, six Cents did go off there, same as in his T20 replay, because this is from patch 9.10. I'm not sure if it's, a, if it's a bug in the replay system or if it's simply because it's an older patch. There's no sound when your six Cents goes off. He's using the bushes for a bit of camouflage. Now the Hellcat does have a pretty good camouflage rating as far as for a tank destroyer, but along with a lot of other changes that have happened in World of Tanks, when the big gun of a tank destroyer gets fired, that camouflage rating goes straight out the window. But Match is just waiting for his opportunity here. There's nobody really pushing the 9-0 line, the traditional medium tank line. Um, Looks like there Arty has was looking for the artillery traces for the Lorraine that T7 French artillery has already been taken out by the enemy GW Panther also at T7 now that Jag Tiger 8.8 has been spotted rushing the beach it's, it's a place I don't like to go on this map because if you're on the beach you, you've got no shots anywhere else on the map but have a look at the mini map the KV-5 and the IS-3 not only have they pushed the beach, but they have pushed all the way up to just about to Matchy's base. However, the KV-5 has very kindly given Matchy his side, which he's going to try and put some shells into. It's loaded premium ammunition because it is a pretty heavily armoured tank. Uh, he hasn't really got shots on his, on his hull, so he's... Using premium ammunition just to confirm that the damage that he does. And he's going to be chipping away at that KV-5. The KV-5's already picked up a kill. But Matchy's, Matchy's team, uh, they're actually up by a couple of tanks. But that massive push, look at the mini-map. There's a massive push going on to Matchy's base. So he needs to uh, make sure every shell counts. Luckily enough, not to be spotted right now, which is probably good because it'd be an easy target for any one of those tanks to penetrate. There's no armour on the Hellcat whatsoever. You can obviously you can um, bounce off some shots in your tracks if you're lucky, but um, actually picks up his first first kill, taking out the T34 85, the the tier six Russian medium tank, and he. His teammate, his platoon mate, gets taken we out in the M6. He's platooned with a couple of his mates, Tara Mick in the KV-85, and I'm not even going to try and say the name of the guy who was driving the M6, but Matchy is just farming damage. He's finally been spotted, so he backs off be behind this farmhouse. So he's already put he's put some good damage into those tier 8 vehicles as well as picking up the kill he just wants to make sure and, and hope that his teammates keep them spotted now that IS-3 is going to be a little bit challenging 
He does have premium ammunition loaded. He gets another 261 damage into the IS-3. A very, very dangerous tank, especially when he's top tier. That one didn't go through. That one won't go through, not at that angle. Keep, keep a close eye on Matchy's ammunition count. Confirms a kill on the KV-85. Even though it's a tier 6, it's still a tank, it's still a tank that needs to be killed. And now he's searching for a shot on the LTTB, the tier 7 Russian light tank. Gets another 247 damage into that IS-3. The IS-3 is the, that's the danger tank there. That's why Matchy's focusing on him if he can. Doesn't want to be spotted by that L double T B. You can see the AMX 12T, the T6 French light tank, has gone full YOLO to the enemy's capture, probably to try and take out those artilleries and stop the artilleries shooting shooting his teammates. He's searching for a weak spot on the KV-5. At that angle, he's not going to waste his ammunition. He hasn't got a great amount of ammunition left. Got six normal shells, two high explosive, and two premium rounds left. So that's probably why he's Firing normal ammunition now at that IS-3, but that IS-3 is still going to be a tough nut to crack. But looking at where his allied tanks are, the AMX-5100, the VK at Tier 8, and of course the Tiger and the KV-85, you'd think, you'd think they would outnumber that IS-3, but he loads premium ammunition just to try and help his teammate. Okay, the IS-3 backs off and creates a bigger angle just in time to stop that shell from matching. Confirms the kill again on the M6, picking up his third kill of the game. Scores now 11 to 9. It's not looking too bad for Matchy, but he does need to he needs to bear in mind that he's still only a little tier 6. He's lucky to still have his full full hit points left, and that's the last. He's out of premium shells now, and that was actually a high explosive shell that he fired towards that IS-3. Now the VK kills him as Taru Mick in the KV-85 gets taken out of the game. It's still wouldn't say comfortable, but it's, it's an okay lead, I guess, at 12 to 10. Fires at the LTTB, but it looks like the LTTB is doing a runner. Can't remember what kind of hit points he was on. He's on about 260-odd hit points, I think. So Matchy's going to... if he, can get, he knows if he can get rid of that L double, double, LTTB, then... Um, that'll, be, that'll be the view range gone for the T-28 prototype and the Crusader. He's not sure where that Crusader's aiming, but it's just fired. Now Matchy's gonna, this, he's doing exactly the right thing in my opinion. He's got binoculars, as you can see, down the bottom of the screen. He's keeping a little bit of view range in the middle of the map while his friends come to help. The AMX 5100 and the Super Pershing, they're coming through this way. There's no use Matchy YOLOing all the way down here, that T28 prototype. One, uh, one shot would probably take him down to absolutely stuff all. He's only got 570 hit points to play with, so he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to throw any of those hit points away. And Matchy's team doesn't have any light tanks, so Matchy's going to provide a little bit of vision by slowly creeping forward and waiting for these more heavily armored tanks to catch up. Super Pershing doing a great job. He's, he's probably spotting that T28 prototype. And Matchy's just seen a nice side shot. But he's been spotted himself, probably by the LTTB. And he's hoping, hoping to chip away a little bit more at that T28 prototype. Now the VK, you can see on the mini map, the VK 45 02A, the tier 8 German. Heavy tank is, is now just about at the last spot where that LTTB was spotted. But you can see Matchy's only got three shells left, so he really needs to be careful and make sure any any shot that he fires does damage. Now it looks like the LTTB is no longer there, which is not, not surprising considering the score, but there's it's five versus two. There's the LTTB, he's been spotted. Matchy shoots and misses. TTB did, a, did exactly the right thing there, ducking behind that piece of cover just as Matchy fired. Now both tanks, well now we know where both tanks are. He's aiming in on that Crusader. Kills him, but also cops 
cops the shot, which gives the old TTB the confidence to go after him. And with his last shell, Matchy picks up his fifth kill and confirms the win in an awesome display of Ace Tanker Mastery Badge in the Hellcat. You can see that he's got nearly 8,000 experience on the, in the battle results page. Don't pay too much attention to the the 7,938 experience that's for a times three but still an absolutely awesome result nonetheless even though he's only at tier six in the tier eight game he's picked up an ace tanker a bruiser a fighter for four or five kills fire for effect the faden's medal which is a medal i don't think i've ever got but it's for destroying the last enemy vehicle in the battle with the last shell remaining in your tank which is which is a always a, a tight situation if you had to miss that then he, he would have most certainly been killed by that LTTB at the end. And he picked up the high caliber, which is not an easy thing to do in a tier 6 tank in a tier 8 game. And there was, wasn't was just one or two tier 8s, it was quite a few tier 8s on both sides, doing at least 1,000 damage and doing 20% of the amount of damage in the game. And have a look at that result. 4,129 damage. That's why he got the ace tanker. 5 kills, 1,764 base experience. He fired all 30 shells, 24 of them hit, only 19 did damage. Bear in mind, he was shooting at that IS-3 for some time, and a few of those shots, or a couple of the shots, went into the dirt. And um, But he only missed six out of the 30 shots, but um, another five shots didn't do damage. That would have been the IS-3. A little bit of sniping there, 3,474 damage done from more than 300 metres. But when you're in a tier 6 lightly armoured tank destroyer like the Hellcat and you're up against the KV-5, the IS-3, the T-28 prototype um, as well as the 8.8 uh, Jag, Jag Tiger 8.8, you, you really don't want to be at the front. Even if even if it was you're up against M6s in a Hellcat, you wouldn't want to be up the front of the battle. But an awesome result, an absolute, absolutely demolished everyone else on his team. Did more than double what the next player the next player was another tier 6 tank with nearly nearly 2000 damage but an absolute carry by Matchy HK from DPX clan 4129 damage in a tier, tier 6 tank in a tier 8 game that's absolutely fantastic one of the best replays I've seen at tier 6 for a long long time don't forget to check out Matchy's YouTube channel link in the video description thanks for watching everyone take care and I'll see you all next time